This video shows how to use CNFET Verilog A models in Cadence Virtuoso tool. Verilog A model of CNFETs are available at this particular website. You can download this model files from here or by filling this form. Download the Verilog A model to use in the Cadence Virtuoso. Extract the files to use in Cadence. To use this model file, first create a library. Go to the file, click on new library. Define the library name as CNFET. Select the option do not need process information. Again, go to the file, create a cell view. The cell view name has to match with the model name. This is the model name NCN FET. Open this file to see the model name. This is the model name. You can use this as a cell name. Select the type to Verilog A. Okay. It opens a default text editor. This is the text editor where you have to place the text of the model file. This is the model file. Just open that model file. Copy the text. Into the text editor. Replace this. So this is the text which is replaced from the model file. You also require NCNFET L1, L2 and parameters because these files will be called as a subroutines in L3. So copy these two to the working directory. This is the working directory, library, NCNFET. Verilog A, paste it. Close all this. In the text editor, click on build a database of instance. It asks to create a symbol. Click on S. I want to have the gate terminal on the left, drain on the top and substrate on the right pin, source at the bottom and this couple node also on the right pin. This is the configuration. Click OK. Close this. Once the symbol is created, close the text editor. This is the default symbol view. I want to have a CNFET model of my own. Delete this to create the new symbol view. You can move this. Use R for rotation. You can rotate this.
use here. I want to have my symbol. So just select these shapes. And create the symbol of a MOSFET. I want to differentiate it from a normal transistor. In that case, I am using circles just to show that it is as a CN fit. You can create your own design. So I want to just do some artwork. Copy this text here. Drain. Source. And this node is an optional node whether you connect it or not. It is a part. Supply is not necessary for this. And this is the substrate. You can place here. This is the instance name. You can rename it NCNPET. Same as that of the cell name NCNPET. Click OK. This is the symbol which I have created for ncn fed now for this symbol i want to check the characteristics that is dc characteristics go to the file create a new the same cell name but create a test bench you can use tb for test bench or just use sim for simulation select the type to schematic Click OK. It opens one more work area. Go to the instance. Browse for the symbol. Go to the library CNFET. NCNFET. This is what we have created. To see the Verilog A model view, select this symbol. Press Q. It opens the edit object properties. Under the CDF parameter view, you can select the Verilog A model. It shows the default parameters of Verilog A model. That is the length of 32 nanometer and it has a chiral vector of 19,0, which shows that it is a low VT device and the number of carbon nanotubes is one for this case click ok now you provide the dc voltage to see the characteristics by going into the analog library vdc select the symbol close Place the components. Similarly, place the ground. For this, this one and this. You can connect this also. Nothing wrong in that. Even you connect or leave it. I'll connect this make the required connection by using the wire connect the substrate directly here check for errors shows that there are two errors just overlapping now 
Now check for the errors. There are no errors for this schematic. I want to plot the DC characteristics. For this, what you have to do is you want to vary or sweep this particular source by keeping the VDS as a constant. This is the gate source voltage, this gate source voltage and this is VDS. Check and save. Go to the launch. Select ADL. Choose the analysis. Select the DC. DC operating point. Select the component this this is what i want to perform the sweep next i want to vary it from 0 to 1 and select this from the design this is what i want to plot that is the drain current select this node click ok Once the ADL window is set, you can hit on netlist and run. So this shows that we did not provide any DC sources. That is here. Both the voltage sources are defined right now as 0. Provide input voltage as 1 and this one also provide it as 1. Check and save the design. You can re-simulate the design. You can change the color or style and width it shows that the current started rising this is just a plot between ids versus vgs so it started rising from 0 0.3 onwards so it is a like low threshold voltage